recent research has found that they might actually serve as an anchor for the whale's genitalia. Oh, is that where, is that where the blue whale's balls are? No, the blue whale must have a big, massive dick. That must be huge. The reported average penis length varies, but usually mentioned to have an average length of 2.4 to 3.0 meters. Welcome to Hold the World. This wonderful museum houses many fascinating specimens, but today I've chosen a select few that I find of particular interest. So pick a room or pick an object. We're literally inside. Look at this. This is the Natural History Museum. We're actually inside it. And it's difficult to tell you how amazing this looks in the Quest 3. It's, they've gone in and they've taken photos, have done whatever they have to inside the museum, and this is what you see. Welcome to London's Hi, Natural History Museum. Look at this. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. This is the Earth Sciences Library. Members of the public aren't usually allowed in here. It's so clever what they've done here. So they basically filmed inside. Look at this. We've, we're inside everything. Oh, it looks so brilliant. I mean, David was sort of like a hologram. They use over 100 cameras to film him. It looks really good. So what we can do is in each space, you've got two boxes and you pick one and we'll go through each one. So this one, that, oh, that's like some bones of something. And that's a bone of something. That's weird. Okay, let's go for this one. Put it there. What's this, David? What could this skeleton belong to? I don't know. It has a backbone, so clearly yeah. it's a vertebrate. Yes, okay. There are no obvious legs, so it probably didn't walk on land. But I can tell you, this is not a fish. A clue to this creature's identity is the fact that in reality, you can move it, it around. would be much, much bigger. It's the largest animal on the planet. Oh, it's the blue whale. The blue whale. How is it on my desk? Have a closer look at some of its features to find out what makes this creature very special indeed. David, this is cool. So this is the blue, this is a skeleton of a blue whale. So what we can do now is we can pick it up. Look at this. And you can actually make it bigger. Now, look at this. I want bigger. Bigger. Bigger! <laughs> now, obviously, this isn't the skeleton of the blue whale because it would be the size, two sizes of this room. But what they've done is the quality. They've super, like, they've digitally taken a record of every single bone. It looks absolutely beautiful in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at this. Take a close look at those go. pectoral flippers. They're yeah. the ones that come out of the side there. See, so it's so interesting. Like, if you're in, this is perfect for a child who's just going through school at the moment and who's just interested in animals and biology and, and that type of stuff. I mean, if I had this when I was a kid, it'd be amazing. Like, I'm, I'm so interested in this type of stuff. And to have David Attenberg explain it to you, it even makes a noise you put on the desk. Look at that. That's so cool. All right, what else we got here? Oops, sorry. Hang on. Let's make it small. Oh, it's tiny now. Right. See if you can find two floating bones underneath the backbone yep, I got them, at the David. rear end of the skeleton. Up here. Those are all that is left of the whale's ancestral pelvis. However, recent research has found that they might actually serve as an anchor for the whale's genitalia. Oh, is that, where, is that where the blue whale's balls are? No, the blue whale must have a big, massive dick. That must be huge. The reported average penis length varies, but usually mentioned to have an average length of 2.4 to 3.0 meters. At its full size, that lower jaw is six meters in length. Wow. And it's the largest bone of any kind on the planet. Ah. David, you're amazing. This particular blue whale skeleton is that of a female. Okay. The bunny was found on a beach in Ireland in 1891 and was sold to the museum for 250 pounds. But they can only really be appreciated when seen at its correct size. 
Oh, what's happening now? You see the blue whale now? Is this going to be the size of a blue whale? This skeleton weighs four and a half tons, but when covered in flesh, the blue whale can weigh a massive 175 tons. Wow. To help it collect the huge amount of food it needs every day, the blue whale has evolved a special way of feeding. This is the best way to learn about things. It's virtual reality. It but has to be. The melodic song of these solitary giants can be heard from one side of the Atlantic to the other. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, and now we're back in the museum. Oh, so cool. So that was the blue whale. So once you've investigated it, it'll then be come straight into the front. So then we can collect that. And what you can do is you've got three options then. You can sit down with David, supersize or take the quiz. So sit down with David is what we just did. It's, it's just you and, Hello, my name's Richard Sabin and, I'm and somebody else explaining about the object. The object you're holding is an anatomically accurate digital version of the blue whale skeleton that hangs in the Hintzy Hall. So going into the supersize mode is another interesting way to learn to learn about what you've just investigated and they'll tell you what, how they got it into VR, which is, which is quite cool. And the last one is the quiz. So see if you learned what David was talking about. Pub quiz. How large can a blue whale grow? See? 33 meters. So the quiz is just a way to see if you took in the information that David showed you earlier. And then we'll go for 33. The correct answer and correct. is C. Welcome Hi again, to David. London's Natural History Museum. This is the conservation center. If you look around, you'll see various parts of a giraffe skeleton being prepared for display yeah, in the museum. Least. That's a giraffe. Have a look inside these drawers. Cool. And I'm sure you'll find some intriguing specimens. Like the way that they've scanned the room into here. Oh, it's so good. Right, so we've got a package. It's a secret package. So we're not going to look at the secret package. We're going to do dinosaurs. Because who doesn't like dinosaurs? Come on, got it lovely. Come on, David. This is the skeleton of a plant-eating dinosaur. Stegosaurus. Roamed the warm, dry and yeah, I know it is. North America about 150 million years ago. No one knows its sex, but the museum have given it the nickname Sophie. So we'll assume that it's a female. Hello, Sophie. Well, let's pick up Sophie then. We'll pick up Sophie. Let's make Sophie big. Oh, let's put her on the table. Right, what can we do with Sophie? Can, can I... It's recording when I put it on the table like that. So I mean, look. Make it small, make it big. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at Sophie's head. Scientists once believed Stegosaurus had a brain oh. about the size of a walnut. Yeah, that's why I was which told. Which gave it a reputation as being somewhat dim-witted. You might think that Sophie was a mild-mannered vegetarian, but Stegosaurus was no pusher. No, she should. Battered Look at the tail, tail across the other dinosaurs. She's quite cool, actually. Predators such as the toothy and vicious Allosaurus, Stegosaurus had a fearsome spiked tail for swinging at attackers. Yeah, this is so, this is so cool. I love this. I'm so impressed. Oh, here we go. Here comes a dinosaur. Here comes Sophie. Ah, oh, so good. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Ah, oh, so cool. But at her top speed of six and a half kilometers an hour, those large hind legs must have made her walk in a somewhat ungainly fashion. Whoa! Spike on smack me in the head, then. Far from passive. Dragonflies are among my favorite creatures. Not only are they strikingly beautiful, they're extremely ancient. Yeah, they go back, 
go back to the dinosaurs. Million years ago, long before the dinosaurs. Before the dinosaurs. They were the first creatures we know of to fly. Wow. Well done, David. Right, let's get this dragonfly. Right. So really, the dragonfly would be about that big. But we're gonna make it giant. Look at the size of this dragonfly. Look at the size of this thing. All right, let's go there. All right. It's hard to miss those enormous eyes. See how they take up almost its whole head. It's huge. I don't understand why they didn't do hand tracking in this, because, like, you're looking at stuff with this thing. They could have done just hand tracking, which would have been a lot better. Like, I don't really need the controllers, to be honest with you. Um, so maybe in an update, they'll release hand tracking mode. Look at the tip of the tail. So look at this tip. These are claspers, which the male uses to grab the female uh, before Let's mating. get bigger. Halfway along oh, it looks like a little hand. Side. He has a rigid and spiky penis that's shaped like a spoon. A spiky so penis. Of a rival male from a female before uh, David itself. said penis. That's quite cool. Oh, is he going to fly? Yeah, here we go. Go on, Mr. Dragonfly. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of him. There you go, so we've done one of each, and what it looks like is once you've completed the two of the room, you get another one. So there's nine... So there's nine things to investigate, which is quite cool. So let's have a... So let's supersize this last one, and we'll finish the video here. This fossil skull was found in South Africa and acquired by the museum in 1895. Wow. It has a somewhat oh, wow. ferocious appearance. Is a it? thick bottom jaw Looks and a like set of sharp canines that suggest like that it was a predator. The roof of the mouth that separates the nostrils from the mouth, allowing Sinonathus to breathe at the same time as eating. My head in Most it. reptiles don't have a secondary palate and have to hold their breath. Oh, you can put eat. your head in it. Then could it also have had a layer of fur covering its entire body. Oh, perhaps like a big... The presence of hair has led some like to speculate... That a big giant lion or something. ...glands over its body. Imagine having a lion and this is... ...have secreted a milk -like This body. head comes towards you. So there you go. This is Hold the World. It's a very interesting... Um, ...educational piece in virtual reality. Um, it's about £8, I believe. Uh, so I think it's worth it for what you get. Obviously, it's probably like a one and done type thing. But if you're interested in animals and bones and stuff like that, then this is definitely an experience that you should check out. The way you can see it really close up. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.